and you might recognize that area. That's another explosion that happened a little closer to Columbus today. It only took 50 pounds of dynamite to bring down a century old 12 story building in downtown Dayton and it all happened in spectacular fashion. Cameras had a front row seat to the demolition of the Schwinn building. Burn the and the view from every angle was amazing. Built in 1913, the year of the Great Flood, the structure fell down in less than a minute. The dust plume floated through downtown, coating cars and the city streets. A crowd of people gathered to watch the implosion from a safe distance. Many had a connection to the building, like veteran Dayton Daily News reporter Steve Benish. We saw a large cloud of dust rise from it, white dust, and when the dust cleared, uh, it was simply a pile of rubble. Steve Rausch Incorporated was in charge of the implosion. The project manager described it as a success with few repairs to be made. There's uh, one or two minor holes uh, in the uh, stairwell of the hotel next door, uh, but uh, it's an easy patch. In town from Chicago, David Griffin's family was inside that hotel when the demolition happened. They said it would be a couple of firecrackers and instead it was more like a big boom. That big boom leveled a building filled with history. Through the years, it housed a hotel, apartments, and the Moraine Embassy restaurant. I was in the last day they had the embassy open. I, said, I, I, I got, I, I got one of their menus. I have it at boom. the house and it, it was, it's, it's, it's going to be missed. And new memories will be made in the building that rises from the rubble. A large housing development will soon be built here. And workers will be back Monday morning with heavy equipment to continue the demolition of the vacant building next door.